And with the ongoing social, economic, and environmental conflicts in Mexico's mostly indigenous southern state of Oaxaca, community activists there continued to turn to alternative forms of media. For many, the use of community radio has become their weapon of choice. Our correspondent Clayton Kahn now brings, a, brings us more there from Oaxaca. Since 2013, the indigenous Zapotec community of Magdalena de Tipac in the central region of Oaxaca has been resisting an open-air gold mine project that threatens the town's territory and communal life. The town uses the media as part of its defense. Through this media, through information, the people were looted and gathered in the community assemblies that were organized. Information was given about each response that was requested. Out of the struggle to defend their territory and cultural identity, the communal assembly formed an autonomous community radio station to foment a critical and independent consciousness for the region, which sees its land concession to foreign mining companies through to 2057. We need to share information as much as possible in our community, as well as the nearby communities, about everything we are going through with these companies. And in this case here, with Magdalena, it is the mining company. The use of community radios flourished in the last decade, enabling many indigenous communities in the state's eight regions to fortify their own voice and worldview, challenging what community activists call is the state's media oligarchy. We realize the importance of counting on citizens' media, because here in Oaxaca, we can count the number of families that control the radio and newspapers. There is complete control of all of this. Yet media rights activists warn that promoting independent media does not occur unchallenged. In May of this year, three community radio stations were decommissioned and their members jailed accused by authorities of the legal use of a radio spectrum. La represión contra the repression that one faces while being critical of the system of life that we have implies a risk towards our media makers. And so we call for a tone of immunity and search for the legal arguments, but also the legitimacy that our communities can give to cover and protect these media projects. In 2014, Mexico passed a telecom reform that restricts certain forms of independent financing for community and indigenous radio. Proponents of these stations argue it's discriminatory, giving priority to private media companies. Clayton Cantelasur, Oaxaca City.